to let them bring out 17 man ad hoc committee on top security matter. And as matter CB House of Reps now talks, say, make security chiefs resign, take off bad security situation for inside the country. And for inside another headline, PDP now talks to make all the people where BC say they run enter another political party. So make them come out from their seat as lawmakers. And for inside the next one, Nasarawa people now they call for sensitization against Lassa fever. Good afternoon and welcome to Wazobia Max TV. This now as it take happen. My name now Adate Onwukwe. For inside the first story, as matter be to read people now that na journalists them for inside FCT, they fit to do their work now with free mind. From new secretariat where be say Federal Capital Territory Administration helped to build. And as the matter see be the thoughts the minister of FCT, he go inaugurate and today that's now Mala Muhammad Bello. And still on top, the matter see the hot for there, the chairman of the joint body of the journalists, that's now Emmanuel Ogbechi, he talks the project now na fresh start, Naimi B. Wazobia Max TV to repress in Emmanuel John. He therefore where did they do the inauguration for inside Utaku and he go here and give us on top how the thing they be. Hi Emmanuel, good afternoon. Yeah, I welcome. Okay. Yeah, yeah, without our NUJ uh, FCT Council Secretariat now, yes, yeah, uh, we, we, the minister just commissioned this place now a while ago, and uh, of course, if you see the environment, you go see some activities that take place. A lot of things that happen here, and the whole the, the, the community of journalism they're very happy because this project project went on the program for so, uh, for a long time, and then they don't expect say on that. Uh, I the current more will be Emmanuel Becher. The way we can ginger can carry complete this project. Now the sweet the community of journalists for FCT now. So we stand there with Emmanuel Becher. You go tell us uh, what it need take him um, to uh, ginger this project to completion. I see him come back because he just spent 14 months now as uh, as the chairman of uh, FCT uh, uh, NUJ Council. Then uh, uh, you will tell us uh, what will be the challenges when I don't face this where you come and uh, how you can achieve this feat. Um. Thank you, plenty, plenty. This uh, project, like you talk, don't take for 28 years now. And uh, you know, easy for us. But you see, when you they work closely with um, people when they for power, you go always get help. So when we come, we can't go work closely with minister, with FCDA, we can't talk. And because they trust us, and because they're not saying, Wait till they talk, maybe to carry the money worker. I do wait till they see so. Don't happen. We still get plenty of challenges, especially in the terms of how to generate money. Because, uh, you know, say, most journalists, I know they pay them. So, to repay Jews, na wahala. So, with the leverage on other stakeholders, you know, where they support, what will they do for this country. Right? That's how we we'll carry the progress most way. Okay, now, uh, yeah, everybody there is very happy yeah. with this uh, 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 launching of this MUJ Council Secretariat today. Now, people going to wonder, with this magic point you just do, what is journalists supposed to expect now? What is the, the committee of journalists for FCT could they expect from you? What will be the next step now? Uh, that, now well, that one a better question. What is we want to do now be say, now to the train and retrain journalists? Because uh, for this, our job professionalism nine matter pass. If you don't train journalists proper, it will come become danger to society. The other you go here, people go go blackmail person. The other you go here, say person no go report properly. Even say, journalists will come become agent of fake news. So this time now, we want to focus on professional training of colleagues. You know, say before now, say we don't carry health outreach. We don't do hepatitis test. We don't do general tests before. The next one we want to do now for women. We will do cervical cancer screening. When we don't do that one, then we will know all that is what we will do. Okay, thank you very much, Emmanuel. You As a lawyer here, I don't hear from the chairman. We didn't get many busy things, uh, many things when they do so, but long ago. Uh, that's the, as I talk to you now, uh, so many things they happen. People, they're very happy about this commissioning, this uh, project commissioning. 
So we go. This, uh, we'll sit there here. They see how things happen. Uh, then we will uh, give our details later. And sharply, we now go come out, move, enter inside the next story. For body matter on top coronavirus, now the Ogunge government don't advise country people where we say they want travel go China and other Obodo Ibo countries. So make them calm down for now. Them give this advice after Federal Executive Council meeting on Wednesday. As matter be, Minister of Health that now Osage Ehaniri, it's also Ogunge government now don't do different things now to take stop the virus so that you no go enter inside the country. Then don't call people now where busy they work for inside airport. Say make them sharply report if they see anybody where busy know well for inside plane. In view of the trending uh, <coughs> stories around the coronavirus, it has become necessary to issue a travel advisory to Nigerians. The first is that all Nigerians and all persons from Nigeria intending to travel to China should delay their travel plans until further notice, except it is extremely essential for them to do that trip. All persons arriving from China or any country that has a major outbreak is advised, if they have no symptoms at all, to self-isolate, meaning that they stay indoors in their homes for at least two weeks. And if they develop any symptoms, like cough, catar, sneezing, breathing difficulties within this period, to report to the nearest health facility. We're also advising all airlines to report any case of a passenger falling sick on board before the plane lands. That is a requirement uh, in the agreement. Nigeria Port Health Services and Nigeria Center for Disease Control are on alert at our airports and other points of entry. That is the advisory. And still as the young gives the state house to re people, Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, that's na Abubakar Malami, stick on the young on top matter now to see government go sign agreement with uh, Island Jersey and the, the US government next week. And this one now now to return the three hundred and twenty one million dollars with TIF money, where we say linked to late General Sani Abacha, plus including James Ibori, Desiani Alice Maduke, plus including Kola Aloko. We have concluded on an understanding that the sum of $321 million will be refrigerated in due course, inclusive of James Ebori asset as well, sorry, which was inadvertently not uh, mentioned. So we are hopeful that by next week we will sign the agreement for the recovery of looted assets. The assets that is going to be repatriated as it is, is located and in the custody of the island of Jersey. But the United States of America came on board because it has obtained an order for forfeiture against the asset, considering that the medium of exchange used in the looting of the asset was the United States of American dollar. And uh, arriving from that, the three jurisdictions must naturally be factored into the repatriation processes. So the amount will often sign in of the MOU be remitted from island of Jersey within a number of days agreed often, I think um, around 25 days hopefully, sorry, 20, 28 days. Within 28 days, the money will be repatriated from island of Jersey to United States of America. And thereafter, within 45 days, it is agreed by the parties the United States of America will make necessary arrangements for the eventual repatriation of the funds to Nigerian state. 
And for inside another story, as Nansarawa state government confirms a Lassa fever now don't show face for inside the state, the people were busy that they there now come they raise alarm, say make government try a beg to sharply see how they go take do something for them. They come the young Nancy government never shake body on top of the matter to stop and make it no spread. The people now come the young say as they hear Lassa fever now for inside the media, say the government never tell them what to do, especially for places like Maraba and Massacre where busy get plenty of people where they live around. Around there. Our Wazobia Max TV to repairs will be John Emmanuel. He been going to Sarawak State and he come back with more reports. How the These residents of Karo local government will get boundary with FCT. Talk say, even if Nasrawa State government no consider them in terms of provisions of road, water, light, and sanitation, them supposed to take this matter of Lassa fever serious because now health matter it be. When they come they talk how the team they pay them for chest, them come and say, if the state government take their residents serious, by now, health workers supposed to work out from street to street to educate people on how them go fit prevent this disease and where to go in case them notice any symptom. That one, now the signs. Look at where people they are living and look at the gutter here. We don't have any government here. If that kind of thing can happen here, it can happen because it's, it's that they don't even care about them. Because it both they don't even know that whether the local government can local government know that this kind of replace is exists. In this area there's no any single awareness so far. People just had about it already. The awareness they might have tried, but I remember a man that said when you try and they are not getting the result of what you want, you put more effort. So if you are trying and you are getting results, that effort is uh, just like uh, nothing. Like serious, here people have not, people heard about it, but if it happens, you come here now, we are not saved. So government should put more effort to see that these things are being taken care of properly. Because now I learned of recent the things have entered Nasrawa. The, the awareness is still on. If not for the awareness, me, I wouldn't have known that Nasrawa is back here. Because when I was educated, the public interview and the central media and other things was able to discover that it kills. So I believe government are doing, but I want them to do more, more than this. Because with what we are, the report we are getting, he has returned back again. Most of these residents where they live for inside slums come follow the complaints say most of their houses no get better building plants. And this, they make them very easy for disease to spread very fast if it mistakenly break out. Yes, son, look at the place. Look at uh, that here. People that are eating. Yes, son, look at that kind of thing. That you expect that kind of thing cannot be happening. It can be expected. Because the local government of itself, they never take care of people. The way you keep your food and whatever you need to the way you keep them, you have to maintain it as in keeping something on cover is not fair. I, I think they, they should employ a kind of killing agent to destroy them mm. easily because since they can destroy food. I just put that we should be careful. Our food should not be kept open. Mm. We should cover our food and anything that you know that this rat can kill it immediately. The, the provision they made for health should go directly to where it's supposed to work out for the people. And the essence of them be there is because of all the citizens. So when this thing comes around like this, some of those less privileged that cannot afford to find out how to prevent it or take care of it, definitely does our life be taken in deadly way. So please, they haven't, if they have done also, but our area is not included. Karo local government will get areas like Mararaba, Masaka, Ado, New Nanya. Now one of the local government with high population for the state, a majority of these people, they work for inside FCT. This one means say if Lassa fever mistakenly show head for this area, Kasala go boss for inside FCT. This now, John Emmanuel for Wazobia Max TV. And for inside the next story, the Senate Dando inaugurate 17 man ad hoc committee now to look for solutions where BC they go take tackle matter of security for inside the country. As a matter still being a Senate leader, that's Nayahaya Abdullahi. Now be the chairperson now for the committee and then go get back to the Senate two weeks after I be said they don't complete the work where they give them. And still on top of the matter, as they announced the list of a chairman and members of the ad hoc committee, after all the talk where we said and talk on top security 
for the country. President of the Senate, that's now Ahmed Lawan, he talks to them go work with executives to make sure say them implement the recommendation of the committee. As in the year now for the, the year for inside their separate separate contribution, lawmakers talk say religious intolerance plus including unemployment, border where be say no they save, policing where no they work, plus including corruption. Now some of the major reasons where be make criminal activities, they increase for inside the country. And still on top of the matter, the senator where we say they represent KB Central, that's now Adamu Alero, he talks to them fit it's those them fit and criminal activities. If communication companies now work with security agencies to fight to track their telephone conversation. And in that summit, we invited everybody that is supposed to be invited from the service chiefs to traditional institutions that we feel are relevant and they can make very good contribution towards the security, solving the security challenges of the country, to even some of us here. And we came up with very good uh, 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 resolutions and recommendations. Mr. President, I don't know what happens to those recommendations. We should go back, get them. If they are dusted, remove the dust and send them to the executive. I believe all what is supposed to be said has been said at that seminar. A those South Senator, that's now Matthew Ubogide, he has seen our service chiefs don't overstay for inside office. And still on top of the matter, Senator Solomon Olamile talks he make them still put eye on top to the 18 security summit. Sadly, we equally want to thank the Nigerian police who have done well in securing our nation for the last 50 something years. They have equally done well. They've contributed their own quota towards the nation building in trying to ensure that every 200 million Nigerians are safe. But you quite agree with me, the number of Nigerian police compared with the trend uh, in the population is not enough to carry out, to continue to carry out this all important exercise. To that extent, we are calling on the federal government and the Senate as a major legislative intervention for the creation of state police by amending the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as soon as possible. I want to congratulate the Southwest governor for coming up with the idea of Amotekun. This has forced everybody to go back to the drawing board and looking at it from the angle that there is need for us to take care of our security situation in our various states. Senate Minority Leader, that's now a Inaya Abaribe. It's also make President Buhari now resign from office. Sick of saying he don't fail to secure the lives and property of country people. Nigeria did not elect the IG. We did not elect the chief of staff. We did not elect the Joint Chiefs, we did not elect the National Security Advisor. We elected the government of APC in 2015 and re-elected re them in 2019. The reason why we re-elected them was that they continued to tell us that because they had the key to security, and the whole Nigeria voted them in in 2015, and I agree with that, and I'm saying, Mr. President, when you want to deal with a matter, you go to the head. So we will go to the government and ask this government to resign because they can no longer do anything in this country. <laughs> Mr. President, in conclusion, yes, Nigerians voted a government into power. And that government even said, if we don't perform, stone us. We are going with the stones to stone them now because they are no longer. Mr. President, because we have to get to the root of this matter, I can only say one thing. Those who live by propaganda will die by propaganda. And as it matter be the upper legislative chamber on Wednesday, they be tell where we're past their normal closing time of 2 p.m. As it be said, the Senate president now be work hard to make sure say all lawmakers now put them out on top different different things where be said they get to talk about with the ground. 
we must not shy away uh, from what affects their lives. The reality is today, uh, the security of our people is the issue that concerns almost every single Nigerian. And there is nothing that we can do better than uh, not only discuss it, but find solutions to the issue at stake. This is not something we can do alone. Uh, we have to work with the executive arm of government. Mr. President himself has been working hard with uh, security agencies to ensure that uh, we protect the lives and property of our people. But we have come to a point that the legislature would have to, at this point, uh, also intervene uh, to ensure that we give the necessary legislative uh, intervention and support to the executive arm of government. So what we have done today is just the first step. Probably the most difficult step is the next step. And for inside another story, President Sinan Don Yan gave a Senate a minority leader, that's Na Eyinaya Abaribe, after the lawmaker now being Yan say make President Buhari resign for seat. For inside the talk paper now, where BC President Mama Dubari carry come out through in senior special assistant on top media, that's Nagarba Shew. The presidency talks to Senator Abaribe now, now he signed the bond for the court release of a IPOB leader, will be Namdi Kanu, on bail. Where BC now has in disappeared since, say they never see see until today. Senator Abaribe now, to today, so that Senator Abaribe will return him. As the matter still be the year, say Senator Abaribe will never return Kanu come court for trial, even as the deadline where BC then give him don't pass. And say him still get him out now to the accused the president, say him don't fail to secure the country. As the matter still be, the year say Abaribe suppose replace the suspect for inside prison, as him don't fail to produce him. And still on top of the talk paper, the talk paper still here and say, President Buhari now they work hard to make sure say Nigerians they safe from harm where terrorists already planned for the whole Sahel and Sub-Saharan Africa with the support of Nigerians plus foreign friends. And for inside another story, some members of House of Representatives now don't yarn see make service chiefs come out for seats. This one has them they yarn on top matter of security. Do, uh, as they work on Wednesday for lower chamber of the National Assembly inside Abuja. The lawmakers talks they make the service chief resign since where President Muhammad Dubari no one sack them come out. Abu Bakar of Fulata, he talks they make them replace soldiers where they say they don't dare for not is they fight war titi. So when they replace them, put other people for there. And sharply for inside another story, still as see the heard, People Democratic Party now don't call on emo lawmakers where B say they go join APC. They so make them come up for their seats now for inside the House of Assembly. The National Publicity Secretary of PDP, that's Nakola Ologbondion, now in the yarn this one now, as him they talk to Tory people for inside Abuja on Wednesday. Him say the lawmakers now no waiting day for inside with law book. Him say na betrayal, now in them just do so. I mean, see they tell INEC now, so make them start the process of fresh election inside the constituencies where B say their leader come go enter APC. What section 109, subsection 1G provides? It states that a member of a House of Assembly shall vacate his seat in the House if being a person whose election to the House of Assembly by a political party, he becomes a member of another political party before the expiration of the period for which that House was elected. The Constitution further went further to state, provided that his membership of the latter political party is not as a result of a division in the political party of which he was previously a member or of a merger of two or more political parties or factions by one of which he was previously sponsored. Consequent upon this, and in consequence upon these constitutional provisions, these defectors have already vacated their seats. They no longer have a place in the State House of Assembly, as there is no division or merger of any kind in the PDP at any level whatsoever. The PDP, therefore, left with no other option than to request the, the PDP is therefore left with no, with no other option than to request the Independent National Electoral Commission to immediately commence the processes for the conduct of fresh elections into the respective state constituencies where these legislators 
have vacated their seats in line with the provision of the 1999 Constitution. The PDP calls on our team members and supporters in Nimo State, as well, in Nimo State, in Nimo State to remain calm and focus at this trying time as the national leadership proceeds with arrangements ahead of fresh elections in the affected constituencies. And for Inside Another Tory, Nigerian nurses now they meet for Inside Abuja for the launching of the Nursing Now campaign. The event is a three-year campaign now and now the findings of the Triple Impact Report where we say states go do to empower nurses plus including to improve health for inside the world and to build strong economy and improve gender equality. As it be say na plenty nurses, as it be say plenty nurses be women. Our Wazobia Max TV Tory person Solomon Ndahi, he did the way they did do the launching and he will bring us more reports for our next bulletin. And we move for inside another Tory. As the matter still be, still on top of everything where they happen, Advertising Practitioner Council now of Nigeria, they, they call them APCON. They don't beg media organizations, they make they, they always follow waiting day for inside the, the law of broadcasting and advertisement. And still on top of the matter, APCON head of operations for North Central, that's now Ahmed Yelwa. He earned this one now on Monday when he lead the officials of uh, the council go visit the management of Cool Wazobia Info FM and Wazobia Max TV. According by Yelwa, need dinner for media houses to work with APCON. Waiting and monitoring. It's one of the key responsibilities of APCON because it is important. That is why the federal government has created the committee and created by law. It's not just a committee established by APCON. It's a statutory committee created at the National Assembly. The main purpose of that committee is to ensure that all advertisement and all media are decent, honest, truthful, and socially responsible. And by law, any advertisement that is going through any media should go through that committee for approval. Make sure that our citizens are protected. Quality products, you cannot come and make any claim that you cannot associate. So that is the essence of the committee. So if I can just go and pay and bring that receipt without that panel looking at the campaign, I think there is no essence. Part of the essence has been defeated. So what we always say is the certificate of approval. Certificate will not be issued until that committee look at the content of what you want to uh, expose, both in the jingle and the script, and then they will give you approval. And still on top of the matter, the head of stations for Cool Wazobia Info FM and Wazobia Max TV, that's not James Expensive. He and they tell the council now, say, make them the yarn more with public to enlighten them on top of their operations. And I will urge APCON to do uh, uh, seminars for staff on all organizations that they regulate so that people will know your rules and regulations. I am interested to be part of APCON. Because I'm a businessman. Yeah. Are you getting me? But if I don't know the rules and if there's nothing to attract me to APCON, I will not uh, see it as fit for me to come and register. If you, if you can find time to, to come here and try to enlighten us, because if we don't know, we don't know. Exactly. Are you getting me? But yeah. when you tell us the benefit, the reason why we should be part and stakeholders of, fine. We we'll see it as a welcome development and we we'll urge all other staff to be part of it. And still on top of the next story, will they come back with business and sport? Not go anywhere. <music> For inside business, Obunge government now Wednesday announced it, them go start the agricultural mechanization initiative inside the next three months. We hear for inside Abuja now say Turkey government don't plan to invest $15 million for inside the agricultural sector for the country. And this one will happen for inside two years. Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, that's Nasabo Nanono, he explains for inside he explained now, say, for inside the mechanization policy, say, full technology package plus including transfer where we say it will cover all the stages from production, go rich industrial processing, plus including packaging and marketing. So all of them will follow for inside. Organo no no yan this one now 
for the meeting with Governor of Ogun State, that's not Dako Abiodun. He said the mechanization program now, now the solution, where he said it will help make food day plenty for inside the country. He said the program will get service centers across the country, 140 processing stations, and it will help production, plus including to create jobs and to grow money where he said we go generate for inside the country. And we still they come back with sports story, no go anywhere. For inside sports, Super Eagles goalkeeper now really the call Daniel Akwei. He don't extend in contracts now with South African Premier Soccer League side, really the call Kaiser Chiefs. Akwei now been signed two years, the web say go keep him with Amasoke Amakosi till June 2022. Chiefs now be announced the extension for inside their website on Wednesday. And as matters still be, Daniel Akwe in a web BC joined Chiefs for inside January 2019. He played with the Chiefs for the first time for league game now on February 9, 2019, inside 1-1 one -one draw against Orlando Pirates. He can become the first choice now for the club after a BC Itumeleng Kune being get injury. Akwei now don't play for inside 18 games for all the competition now for Chiefs for inside 2019 and 2020 season. As he makes 16 league appearances now and two others for inside Telecom Knockout Cup. The club still announced the extension of a uh, contract of other players. Now all the Tori where we carry come be this. But before we go, make us remind you of all the Tori where we say we yarn about for this afternoon. Obonge government now don't come out to come advise people where BC they want travel go China. Say so make them calm down for now. And Nasarawa people now don't they come for sensitization against Lassa fever. And we see Tai say Senate don't bring out seven man ad hoc committee on top security matter. And Nigerian nurses they launch nursing now campaign for inside Abuja. My country people now all the Tori be this way we carry come give you for now. If they come back with more updates, make you no go anywhere. My name na Adati Omope. Good afternoon. To enjoy more of this our Ugonge videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.